guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a quick swatch party video on some of ColourPop's newer eyeshadow palettes. Now I've been out of the country for a while so you guys probably consider some of these palettes pretty ancient but I thought anyway if you guys wanted to see swatches on my skin tone, especially of the, uh, is it the Fame palette? Is this the cool tone one? Yeah, I don't know. I bought this because I'm psychotic and I love ColourPop. And I was just like, fame and fortune, like that's low gal. Like, I, just, I just needed it. So stay tuned for swatches. Okay, guys, the first palette I do want to swatch is the Perception palette by Makeup Shayla. I actually am not a huge fan of Makeup by Shayla, but I was really excited when I saw this palette because, of course, we all know we all want yummy, colorful shadows from ColourPop. So I feel like this palette is definitely more fall appropriate, but. You guys know I will buy anything that ColourPop releases as far as palettes go. I was really going to like say no to the Fame palette, but I couldn't even help it. And I swear to God, you guys, they have done... I feel like they've improved their quality because I haven't worn this like a ton on my eyes yet. But every time I've worn it, the pigmentation of the shimmers have been amazing. So here are the first four shades. We have Unbothered, we have TF, we have Titus, and then we have Stallion. So let me go ahead and quickly swatch those on my hand here. Very pretty. So here is the next row, the second row. We have Spill the Tea, sorry, Spill the Tea, Diva, L, oh sorry, IE, and then 14. And I really love ColourPop's palettes. I also love that all the pa uh, pans are magnetic. So if you want to take them out of the Perception palette and rearrange them with some other palettes from ColourPop. You can create yourself like a huge Z palette full of ColourPop eyeshadows. I'm not going to lie. I'm super tempted to do that with them just because I feel like if they're all in one place, I'll get more use out of them. But the other thing I do like about the ColourPop palettes is that they are small and versatile. So not that I'm saying like I'm doing all this traveling, but if I did need to go somewhere, it would be nice to just be able to grab one of them instead of like a huge palette. So here are the next four shades. This is row number three. So we have Start and Slay, we have Culture, we have Sassy and September. So beautiful, you know, neutrals as well as some fun pops of color, which seem to be the theme with most palettes these days. The shade Sassy is like a beautiful version of MAC Blue Brown pigment. And the pink shade I wore on my lower lash line and I thought it was beautiful. So nice variety there. And then the last row has three matte shades and one matte with shimmer in it. I know some people aren't huge fans of that, but I think sometimes the shades can be incredibly beautiful. So this is a very neutral row. We have Revenge. We have um, Thick. We have Revenge. We have Thick. We have Played Out and Shade. I think these are words that you guys hear YouTubers and Instagrammers use all the time. So here are the last four shades. And thick, uh, sorry, and shade is beautiful. It's a burgundy shade with beautiful like rose gold flecks in it. So I love that. Okay, so before I move on to swatching the other palettes, just want to show you really quick all the swatches from the Perception palette on my skin tone. So I do plan on reviewing this palette for you guys. Let me know if I if you're interested in that. If you don't want me to review it and you want me to review something else in my collection, um, yeah, please just let me know in the comments because I've got a lot of, got a lot of palettes to make my way through. So I'd be more than happy if you guys tell me where to go next. Okay, so next let's move on to the Fame palette. Now this was probably either a love it or hate it. When I first saw this, I was like, why ColourPop? Who asked for this? Like, I heard a lot of people say it. Who asked for this palette? And they said, you know, based on very popular demand, we're creating this cool tone palette. I saw a lot of YouTubers that love cool tones kind of criticize this palette, saying it wasn't cool toned enough. For me, it's just blah, but I bought it because that's what I do. And we have Center Stage, Extravaganza, Showboat, and Delirium. Interesting. I wanted to swatch it for you guys because I don't know. I want to know if this palette is tan girl friendly 
and I haven't really watched any reviews on it. So far the first row is pretty gross looking. These two shades I think will be beautiful on the lid. The mattes are a little me, you know? Like they're not doing it for me. They're not doing anything for me, so there's that. And then I'm gonna swatch the next row. I love the like the shimmers in this palette. The mattes are just not my cup of tea, I think. And they might be a little too light. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you can't even see the mats, but um, so we have the next row we have the mo the most razzle, dazzle, and stardome. Stardome is beautiful, it has like a pink undertone, so I think that'll be really pretty in my crease. And then there's a beautiful uh, pastel pink called Celeb, um, but I really like the shimmers in this palette. So pretty. So Celeb. Ooh, pretty. <gasps> okay, so we have Celeb, we have Debutante, Clubhouse, and Privy. I actually love all the shades in that particular row. I don't know what the pastel will look like on me, but uh, Debutante is beautiful, Clubhouse has a nice mauve undertone, and Privy I think will be beautiful on the lid. And then their last row is more deep shades. Again, the metallics just look so stunning. So here are the last four. Let me swatch them here. Wow. I just love this metallic shade. Holy crap. So beautiful. You guys sick of hearing me say that? Okay, so my favorite shade is posh which is that gorgeous purple color then we have then we have blase which is like a beautiful gray and then peace of me is like a beautiful purple shade and then lifestyle is like a smoky shade for darkening up your outer v i'm assuming so that is the sh the fame palette and i think i'm really gonna like the shimmers i don't know if i'm gonna love the mattes but again let me know which one do you want me to review first I feel like I should review Fortune and Fame together because they're like sister palettes, you know? They're like twins, actually. Are they twins? No, they're like sisters because they're not identical, but they're like, they share similar features like the packaging. <laughs> okay, guys, last one is Fortune. Again, uh, ColourPop got a lot of heat on these palettes because most people are like, really, it's your birthday. You're called ColourPop, nothing colorful about this. And I have to agree, these are very boring shades. Um, but I can't help myself when it comes to ColourPop. They do neutrals and shadows so well and so affordably that I had to try them out. So this is the first row and we have C-R-E-A-M, which is cream. I don't know what the acronym is. Then we have Ben, which is another neutral. And then we have more problems. And the last shade is called Oracle, which is the shimmery champagne shade. Um, so those are pretty boring. <laughs> those are pretty boring, but I think it gets a little spicier here starting the next row. A little bit more tan girl friendly shade. So let me get to swatching here. The shade um, Miser just looks very interesting. It's like a duochrome shade. It reminds me, this palette reminds me a lot of the Huda Rose Gold palette. Um, so if you guys have had your eye on the rose gold or the reformulator rose gold, you might want to take a look at this ColourPop palette. So we have Stax, which is this beautiful color. Then we have Rocks. Sorry, we have Stax, Racks, Wiser, and Miser. I don't know if they're supposed to be like opposites or what, but... And we have the next row, which has one shimmer and then three matte shades. These matte shades look right up my alley especially the shade trove oh my gosh so pretty it's watching a little funky but we've got um nuevo uh rich 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 i don't know guys i don't know 500 and trove i love these two shades so me so my kind of colors and the last four shades 
are the darker shades in this palette. Here we go. I don't know. I might put these on the back burner for reviews because I feel like I can't really support this kind of foolery from ColourPop as far as like these aren't anything new and I'm a little bit disappointed that this is what they decided to do for I believe it's is it their fourth birthday um so yeah they could have done a little bit better as far as concepts go I'm still waiting on them to come out up uh, like come out with this beautiful colorful eyeshadow palette I know they did some singles that are colorful and I did pick some up I need to test those out too I'm a bad YouTuber. Um, I go on vacation and I forget about YouTube. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys swatches in case you guys were wondering. I don't know guys, I would pass just based on the swatches. I don't think this is anything like revolutionary or new from ColourPop. If you're a neutrals girl, you might love these palettes. If you're a collector like me, you might just want to have everything that ColourPop's, ColourPop comes out with as far as eyeshadow palettes, which is Currently where I'm at, I believe I have every single palette that's come out on their website. I didn't buy, I did buy the ones at, that they launched at Sephora for the holiday, but I ended up returning those because I didn't like them. But yeah, these are the palettes. I think maybe the Makeup Shayla one I will review. These two, not so sure about, but I do love the packaging. Some people have complained about the fact that they made them bigger. Then the smaller palettes, the 8 pans, the 12 pans, these are 16, the 12 pan palettes, but I don't know, they're kind of cute. So yeah, hang tight. Uh, let me know what you want to see reviewed. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.